Seth chimes in. Thanks for the t- nine nine uh, nine ninety nine. He says RVD. So CM Punk famously wears controversial political message T-shirts to the ring on TV, like abortion rights and stuff. Maybe you should think about wearing a cannabis rights shirt on TV on four twenty. Rob, what do you think of that? Well, let me put it this way: What makes you think I haven't? Mm. <laughs> right. Right. How about that? How about that? Hey, pay attention. Pay attention uh, over the next couple of weeks to uh, a little a little noise that uh, hopefully will get louder by then. Ooh. Something really cool that uh, that we're working on. How about that? Well, you know, I I, I don't know about the political part. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Now the 420 ain't no problem. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, CM Punk is a, a different mold there. So go on and do your thing, CM. You know? Yeah. 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 No, it is, and it is obviously uh, RVD four twenty related. Uh, right. Yeah, you know, I've always respected though that about punk. You know, that yeah. I think it takes integrity and discipline, and also just somebody that stands for something is 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 res- more respectable on on that basis than people that won't stand for shit and complain about everyone else. You know. Right. Well, I, the the thing what I admire uh, uh, about him was he got in that octagon, man. Right. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, like, you gonna... win or lose, or, he he got in there, bro. So there's, there's a lot of people, yeah. There's, all right, you cool. There's a lot of people that run their mouth about him that would never even fucking make it. You know, right. for the first training day, never. Right. And people people made fun of him and all that stuff and gave him a hard time. Where it's just like, dude, how much how difficult would that be to put yourself on a platform as big as that and take the risk of getting beat like that and you know yeah no that- everybody everybody that's in uh um mma competition especially on that level like of ufc yeah. i mean it's one thing to be like hey i'm the toughest guy in my school let me let me get <laughs> right. but you're fine people around the world that believe that they're the toughest person in the fucking world, ninjas and murderers, maybe. You yes. know, like, that, that's how I see. It. I see it like to to do it at that level. Like you really have to be committed and and enjoy it and have that kind of a of a drive. Right. And probably, even then, you it seems like you a lot of guys. It seems like you'd be natural to doubt yourself several times along the way and have to overcome that. You know that's. Nothing but respect uh, for people, and and by the way, I, I would ne- yeah, I've said before I, I don't I don't have a very many I don't have ups and downs when it comes to my emotions. If I get real upset, it takes me a fucking day to to recover. Um, man, to train for months with the idea that there's no way I'm going to lose. This is my fight. I'm right. not going to accept an L, and then to take a nap in front yeah. of the world watching you on TV right. and I to go over that. And, and then again and again and again for, I, I don't think I would one time would be too much for me to handle. For sure. Right. 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 You right. know, I went to the Fullerton camp down at uh UFC training center mm-hmm. and I was uh, working with Eric Paulson, you know, but uh, I, t- I must've tapped. I, I, I worked out with him for about a week, maybe a week and a half. I must've tapped about 70 times a day. I believe it, yeah. Man, them boys, man, it's tough, man. It's tough. So, but but my, like I said, my head is off to him. Even though uh, Brock going whatever he's going through with him, he's a champ. Mm-hmm. See, so I, I can't knock it. No, no. People are people are so stupid. Uh, I had one guy that I knew after uh, CM Punk lost his second fight. Yeah, he was he was convinced. This dude was convinced that he could beat CM Punk. Oh and, and I couldn't even like talk. To, and he's not even, you know, a, a fighter or, yeah. or, you know, not even any. And and I and I, I couldn't reason. I'm like, dude, you're serious right now. And he's like, yeah, I know I can. I know I can. He's got no ground game or whatever the fuck he said. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what what his critique was, but people are fucking crazy. Yeah, nuts out here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it's. Right. I, I, that what's is what makes CM Punk CM Punk is he's not afraid to kind of do stuff, put his self out there, and whether that's polarizing or not, 
it's attractive to people and like it makes it, uh, it makes a connection with people because people want to right. do that they want to be outspoken or they want to say something or you know yeah, true that's it so it's just like they live vicariously through him so that's what makes him so uh so cool i think right 